we actually going to know? <laughs> Hello everybody and uh, welcome to another live English class. Um, Hi everybody. I'm Christian. And I'm Georgina. And, and we're uh, in the park. And we're in the park, yes. We're, um, it, it's, it's an absolutely spectacular day today. It's, it's not a day to be inside. Definitely not. No, no. It's, it's a day to be out enjoying the sun and enjoying the... Um, Beautiful hot temperature, man. It was hot today. Seriously nice. Um, I hope you're all well and 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 happy and um, having a great day. Um, yeah, so today we're going to do something, well, a bit different, and we're going to do a crossword. Could be interesting. Yeah, um, we're going to attempt attempt a crossword, and um, it's a crossword about food. This week's um, this it's been the general theme, hasn't it? This week. Yeah, the general theme this week is cooking. It's cooking. It's all about food. Mm. Um, so we're going to attempt it. Um, I think. I think, un unfortunately, um, I think we have a problem with the notifications of. Of this live class, uh, oh, what's the matter with it? Um, because there's very few people watching, but there's a few people coming on now. But uh, yes, hello to um, uh, all of the students who are just joining us. Um, Hi I'm Christian, everybody, my beautiful wife. I'm Georgina. We're in the park. <laughs> um, you can see behind us that the the Spanish. The Spanish builders are working very hard to prepare the swimming pools for summer. Let's um, hope he'll be ready in time. Yeah, yeah, they're doing a great job. Um, yeah, so so today we're going to attempt we're going to attempt a crossword about um, food. About food. Why don't you, do you want to show them it? Yeah, so yeah. So so this is the crossword. It's yeah, it's um. It, it's quite a it's quite a complicated one. I'm not sure. I'm not sure how. I'm not sure we're going to be able to even do it. No, it's quite complicated. So we're we're definitely going to need your help. To, a lot to, of help, please. Cause yes. I'm not very good at these things at the best of times. So I'm curious, what what what, what is your your favourite food? Do you think like? I, well, I don't know if I have one particular favourite food, really. No. Well, okay. Well, let me let me ask you another question. So. Um, <laughs> if, 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 imagine that you were, imagine that you were tomorrow, mm -hmm. you were going to be executed. Right. What would be your, your final meal? What is it, like a three course meal? A three course meal, yeah. So yeah, a starter, okay. a main and a dessert. Yeah, all right. So I think to start with, I probably have seafood of some description. Maybe clams or prawns. Uh -huh. Especially like cooked in garlic. Mm -hmm. I quite like prawns with garlic. Garlic prawns. Yeah, yeah. they're pretty good. Yeah, um, I and agree. And then for Maine... With a little bit of chilli. No, maybe for you, not for me. Oh. And for me, for the main meal, I think I think maybe like a pasta dish. Okay. With sa side salad. Okay. And maybe even a side of garlic bread. Ooh, so nice. maybe lasagna, side salad and garlic bread. Uh-huh. And then for dessert, it would have to be something chocolatey, maybe, oh. maybe a chocolate, a really, really good chocolate mousse, oh. or a chocolate, chocolate oh, and mint, or maybe chocolate and lemon, chocolate and lemon, maybe, or chocolate and mint. Yeah, I quite like chocolate and mint as well. Mm. Oh, okay, mm. oh, okay. Um, I think for me it would probably be, um, <laughs> I think second course would probably be pizza. Oh no, no, no pizza I love for me. pizza. <laughs> to start, I don't know, I think I agree. I think garlic prawns to start. That's a or great thing. Or maybe mushrooms? No, garlic prawns. And then for dessert, I don't know. The same um, on there. I don't know, for I'll dessert. Say. So I'd love to hear what, what you would, um, I'd love to hear what you would eat for your final meal. Like tomorrow, if you were going to be. No, say you're on death row. Yeah, you're on, you're on you're on death row. You're innocent, of course. You're innocent, but you're on death row. Um, but 
but and tomorrow they're going to kill you. So what would be your final, your final meal? It says, can we increase the volume there? Maybe they can't hear us very well. Can you not hear us, guys? Yeah, they're saying, uh, barbucha, barbucha, maybe I'll try and, um... Bring it closer somehow? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'll try and bring it closer. Um... Okay, guys, we've had a few people's, oh, oct somebody's saying they would like any octopus. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, well, that's a... Controversial one. Not but, a favourite with many. Uh, okay. I thought I had the I thought I had the setup of the camera perfect. Yeah, but I think that it's too far away. Okay. Um, okay. What else? We oh a borscht. So that he must be uh, Russian, right? If you're going to want a borscht, that's a soup, right? Pu uh, beetroot soup. Somebody else is wanting meat. Okay, some type of meat. Yeah, octopus could be Galician octopus. <laughs> okay, Spanish tortilla, go. carbonara. Tacos. Tacos. Man, I haven't had a good Vegemite taco in years. and fruit. <laughs> lasagna. Hi from the Yemen. Hello, whoever you are. Another lasagna. I say lasagna too. Good choice. Chinese food. Oh no, I'm not keen on the, the Chinese the problem, food. The problem is that 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 in 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 most Western countries, all of the Chinese food is really bad. You know, it's like greasy and... Yeah, well, that's it. It gets a bad name, doesn't it? But yeah, maybe it's... if you went to China, you'd probably eat really well. Yeah, I'm sure. Um, Beans? Oh, oh, borscht, borscht is Ukrainian. Oh, I thought it was a Russian okay, that's, soup. Okay, that's political. We're not... This is, this We're not is borscht, there. borscht politics. We're not going to get into that. <laughs> well, there's already tomato. enough problems Somebody put between... their beans with tomato sauce. That's like baked beans. Oh, gross, man. I don't, that is the last thing that That's I would ever want would to want. eat. Yeah, I'm with you on that one. <laughs> barbecue, yes, a Brazilian barbecue. I bet that's great. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, um, barbusha is Algerian, Algerian. food. Okay. I wonder if it's similar to bab babushka? No, babushka? No. Hey, I've got, I've got a joke about... Um, about um, those ma matroshka, you know the matroshka, the dolls. The, the dolls. Yeah. I hate those matroshka dolls. Do you know why? Why? They're so full of themselves. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, we're going to stop calling it Russian. It's Ukrainian, right? Oh, okay, okay. Let's just okay. say that, right? Okay. Um, uh, okay. So anyway, um, we we are going to. Um, Attempt. We're going to attempt to do this this food crossword. Hi and we're from gonna, Cuba, hi. We're going to need some help. We um, need a lot of help. Okay, so uh, first first one across, right? Everybody ready? Pizza. With or without pineapple, that is the question. Okay, qu number one down. <laughs> number one down. An ingredient which gives the body energy with 12 letters. I know, I think. Who knows that one? An ingredient that gives the body energy, 12 letters. One down. 12 letters? Uh, sugar? No, 12 letters. It's carbohydrates. Carbohydrates. It's got to be, right? Carbohydrates? Chocolate? Somebody said chocolate. <laughs> chocolate definitely gives the body energy. Carbohydrates. Yeah, yeah, carbohydrates. I reckon so too. Drugs. I was getting drugs. <laughs> coffee, caffeine. Yeah, coffee does it. Uh, carbohydrate. 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 Or is it? Well, I that's fine. That'll do. Um, Let's do one mo of the I, most most people because carbohydrate is carbohydrate, it's four syllables. So most people in carbs. English say carbs. They're just carbs. Like you can double carb it, triple carb it. <laughs> Ch chini Chini Kadika says wine. Wine gives you food. Uh, it gives you energy. energy. Okay, next energy one. Energy to go to sleep, maybe. It's okay, me. number two down. No, 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 you have to follow the clues. Oh, okay. Ten across. Ten across, ten across. A hot plate. Beginning with... Ah. Ah. A hot plate, four letters. A hot plate, beginning with R, four letters. Maybe we've got carbohydrates wrong. Hot plate. Do they mean hot? Hot dish? Oh, rice. Rogelio oh, says it could, could be, be rice. rice. It's right, it could be rice. 
But it starts with it because of, because we have carbohydrate. It starts with R. It starts with the letter R. Rice. Well, I don't. Rice is the only four-letter word that's hot for, hot food. Hot food. Well, let's go to the next one. Okay, I'm not sure. I'm going to put rice provisionally. Let's see. <laughs> We're not starting very well. Either, We're not starting we? well. <laughs> um, Maybe. What about one two? One two? No, two down. Look. One across. Time to see. Oh. Huh, what? One across. Ah, uh, one say. across. Sorry. Uh, one across. A type of food which is easy to prepare with eleven letters. Starting with C. Type of food which is easy to prepare with eleven letters. Starting with C. Um, I, I would say pasta. Pasta is easy to prepare. Yeah, but it's but not with that many letters. We begin with C. Ca carbohydrate. <laughs> Carbohydrates. Spaghetti? No, it starts with C. Carbonara? No. Not. Carbonara? No, that's too difficult. That's heck. No. That's quite easy. I think we've got this one wrong. I think we've got carbohydrate wrong, you know. Carbonara. No, carbonara doesn't fit. Carbonara doesn't fit. Cucumber? No. Cucumber doesn't fit. Let's just do a different one. Let's do. What's the type of food? Oh! Do you think? Do you think that it, it's um it's the type of food con convenient? Oh, convenience food. Convenience, Lilo, like um, like um, um no, no, junk okay. junk food. Yeah, convenience food. But it says easy to no. prepare. But if you're preparing it, then no. Seven letters, no. Oh, casserole. Casserole. That's oh, a good one. Casserole. C A S S E. R O L E. Casserole doesn't fit. No. Casserole doesn't fit, but convenience does. Well, let's uh, see if that works out for 12 to for 2 down. Okay, con. With a V. Con V. Con Just do this one, V down. V oh, that's an I. I think, I think this, is, this crossword is difficult, man. Never mind, well, we'll keep going. Okay. 2 down. 2 down. Person who doesn't eat meat. A person who doesn't eat meat. Beginning with V, I wonder. Person who doesn't eat meat. Vegetarian, exactly, Steve, Stefan. Yep, yep, we got it. Vegetarian. Okay, so that means that convenience is it's right. probably right. Convenience is right then, so that's vegetarian. Yep, thanks but, everybody. But that means that, that ten, 10 across is a hot plate. A hot plate with four letters... The first letter is R and the final letter is G. There's something wrong. I think read read the clue for carbohydrate again. I think maybe we've got that wrong. Read. Ingredient which gives the body energy. Carbohydrate's not an ingredient. Wow. It's not. It's carbohydrate is not an ingredient, is it? Think about it. Okay. Right, right. A pescatarian. No, a pescatarian is a person who, who eats fish but not meat. Yeah. Not red red or white meat. Yeah. Mm. Um I don't know. I don't know about the about the um about well, this. Well now we know convenience is right. Let's do number three down. Okay, three down. Three down is lovely. Oh beginning with N, a four letter word beginning with N. Lovely. Ooh. So does anyone know a synonym for the word lovely, starting with N? Oh, Petrus P, and Gosha, yeah, and Yeah, and everyone's got it, it's nice. Oh, Get it nice. in there, Put it, nice. lock it in, nice. <laughs> it's locked in. Locked in, lock it in. Okay, so what about this one, uh, four, is that 11? No. That, no, that's 14. 14 across, 14 across. Mm. Oh, a mid-morning snack. A mid-morning snack. It's a mid-morning snack. So you have this... Like 11 o'clock. 11 o'clock, maybe. And it starts with E. And then the space. And then E. I don't... Do you know it? I have no idea. Oh, my goodness. Any, anyone? Brunch? That's what I would say. Brunch. Because brunch is no, between... No, that's not a snack. That's a meal. It's between breakfast and lunch. <laughs> In judicious says an e-cigarette. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh, he's so right. Samuel Farless, 11 cents. Samuel Farless, you are more British You're than us. You're rocking. You are rocking, Samuel. Nice. Rocking it. Very good, sir. Very good. 11s's, yes. 11 -ses. Why is it called 11 -ses? Because you have an 11 o'clock. We said 11 o'clock. We... Oh, We're idiots. 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 Oh, man. <sighs> Let's do nice. this, this one. Super impressed. 11 -ses. Four yep. down. Uh, did you... Okay, so Georgina in the past, she worked as a nurse. She was an intensive care nurse. Um, so did you, rest in peace. Who's that? Did you uh, did, did you have elevenses at work? Depends what shift you were on. Yeah, if you were working in the morning, would you have elevenses? No. 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 Because you only ever got your you got your a fifteen minute break to have a cup of tea. Yeah. And then your lunch break for half an hour. That was all you got. Forty five minute break for the whole shift. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Um. In, in Portuguese, it's called the boquinha. The little, the little Who's man. Who's that? So, Roman? No, Roman, we're not on holiday. We're just taking a break from the from our academia, coming to the park, because it's such a beautiful day today. It is a spectacular day. Too nice to be inside. Uh, yes, I'm, I'm English, and he's Australian. <laughs> not Americans. No, no, sir. No, no, sirree. Not today, anyway. Not today. OK, well, let's try... That one. Four down. Four down. Four down. It's a four letter word. It starts with C and ends with S. Oh, I know what it is. And, oh, okay. Okay, so. Um, Just say it. Something's bound to know. It's something and sources. With four letters beginning with C and ending in S. Sources. Um, do, does anybody know what the synonym is for a uh, UFO? Cups. Someone's got it. Look already. Rogelia. Rogelia. Good on you. Rogelia, Rogelia. you're a legend, Rogelia. Put it in. Lock it in. Cups. Cups. Cups, Cups and sauces. And sauces. So, yes. Do 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 all of you know what a UFO is? An unidentified flying object. Alien. A UFO. In Spanish, they're called an ovni. An objeto vol volando uh, ni identificado. In yeah, I think. Ni sin. Objeto sin. volador ni identificado. Right? Yes, yeah, ovni. Like from Mars. Objeto yes, volador exactly. no Martians, identificado. Yeah. yeah, yeah, an ovni. In in English, a UFO. See, look, in Portuguese, it's ovi ovini. Ovni, ovni, ovni as well. Um, Someone from <laughs> Melbourne there. One of your. That's oh, an ovni in French too. Uh, ojet vo, uh, Don't even try. <laughs> try. Don't French, even try. My French accent. Ojet uh, vo, volant, volant. Oh, it's ni, UFO. Ni identification. Oh, in, in, in Italy, it's a UFFO. <laughs> a UFFO. Oh, Ogetti Volanti. Well, um, anyway, let's carry another. On. No, I'm, I'm try, I, I got lost sidetracked. Sorry. Um, uh, a, <laughs> a UFO in English, you can also call it a flying saucer. Yeah, I don't think they do. You don't say that anymore. Yeah, maybe before, but because oh. you know, you have you know how I have to do a little drawing, right? So you have a cup, you have a cup, cup and a saucer, a cup. See, here's the cup with the handle and the saucer. The saucer is the little thing which, you know, catches it catches the, the liquids. Yeah, that's a saucer. And, you know, they look <laughs> like flying sausages. Flying sauce. No, no. <laughs> Not sausages, saucers. Oh, yeah, platigio volante. Exactly. In Ukrainian, an NLO. In Polish, in, in Polish, it's probably... In Polish, it will be something impossible to pronounce. It will be all, all consonants. It will be like... <laughs> oh, <stop it. laughs> Polish is impossible. Okay. Um, okay, let's try the next. Sorry, sorry for, for talking too much. Huh? In Arabic, it's called a flying dish. There you go. Oh my god. Who knew? Wow, amazing. Um, okay, what about. Um, let's do the next it? one. 11 down? No, and you're normally been. Here? Yeah, this one, maybe? This one? Yeah, 30? Yeah, okay. go on then. 30 across. Ooh, a healthy diet. What's what's another way to say healthy. I eat a healthy diet? Healthy. I think I know this one. It's eight letters. Healthy diet. 
Fuck. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, another way oh. to say healthy, a healthy diet beginning. No, no, with uh, um, with eight letters was it? With eight letters, eight a healthy letters. diet. Green, so green, yeah, no green. regime, no. What's what's an adjective? An adjective to describe your diet. You can say I have a healthy diet. Wholesome, wholesome. A wholesome. That's a good one, but that's not it. I have a a, a healthy diet, a, a wholesome diet, a good wholesome. diet. What's another word? What's another word? Fitness exercises. No. no, it's sort of like this is probably the the visual for this. Hi, go hi, hi. Um, Very yeah. nice, Daniel Vale. Daniel got it. Balanced. My man. Balance. It exactly is. Balanced diet. Very good, and Georgia as well. Yeah, they're all they're all coming in. Rock it. Balanced diet. Lock it in. Balance. Balanced diet. I think I, I like to balance like with sort of chocolate and wine. And gin and tonic. That's a good balance for me. That's the perfect balance, right? Oh, that's the perfect balance. Hi, um, who's that? Silvana. Hi, Silvana. A diet with Vegemite. <laughs> exactly. Um, okay, so number 30, let's do number 34 across. Okay, let's do it. Ooh, okay. 34 across. I don't know why this is related to food. Ah, uh, well, well, tell us. Okay. Chemicals for killing insects and bugs. What do you call the chemicals that we we, we, we spray we spray onto the onto the food, onto the plants, you know, to stop to stop you know to stop the insects and the bugs. Yeah. Oh very nice. Pratique Pesticide, insecticide. Very nice. Is it pesticide or insecticide? It's Pesticide. pesticide, pesticide, because it says for killing insects and bugs. Insecticide is for killing insects only. I don't know. What's the difference? Don't know. Are they are they perfect synonyms? No, I wouldn't have thought. Poison, I don't know. yeah, poison. There's a spider crawling over the camera. Wow! It heard us talking about <laughs> pesticides. <laughs> Look at it. <laughs> pesticide. Pesticides. Repellents, yes, yeah, repellents. If 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 somebody, if one of you could could please Google the difference between pesticides and insecticides, insects, we'd appreciate that. Oh look, there's a what do you call it up there? <laughs> look at this joke from Francesca. Insecticide is a small animal. <laughs> a little insecticide. Uh, what's the temperature today? Um, I think it's 28. No? Yeah, but it, yeah, it's going to be 28 today. But it's not yet. It doesn't feel that hot yet, does it? No. Not in the shade anyway. Maybe if you were in the full sun. No, it's good now. It's really good. It's nice, yeah. Uh, okay, let's try. Let's try another one. Let's uh, try that one because it's got two clues. 31 down. 31 down. Oh, okay. A small insect, Six. often found in kitchens. In Siberia, it's 32. Wait, wait a second, wait, Siberia, wait. Siberia, how can it be? <laughs> it can't be hotter in Siberia than in Spain, what the hell? <laughs> Something's not right. What? Uh, Ants. No, 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 no. Silvana's got it. Very good, and no, 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 no was first. Oh, was she? Yeah, Ants. thanks guys. Oh, you like my nails, thanks. I painted them a couple of days ago. It makes me feel happy, this colour. It's like, uh, what colour would you call that? It's I'd like call candy that pink. Hot pink. Hot pink, yeah, hot pink. Makes me feel happy when I look at my fingers. Siberia is big. Siberia is big. We so we live in the south of Siberia. Oh, wow. Okay, okay, fair enough. A co cockroach. Oh man, I hate. Oh, it says insecticides is for insects and pesticides is for the plants. Uh, okay, that makes sense. Yeah. Okay, nice. Um, they say we should make a video about British versus Australian English. We should. So just just a, a, a quick moment to talk about this. So you know, I'll, there's a lot of people who talk about the big differences between like British English American and American English. English and Australian English. But but really, apart from the accent, it's not different. Not really. There's a few words. Yeah, but I, I would say the difference between. Australian English and British English would be the same as the difference between um, 
Newcastle, like a Newcastle Brummy vocabulary and... This is a southern, maybe somewhere in the south of London. Yep. Mm. You know, you have special vocabulary and you have, um, you know, pronunciation is very different. But I think there's as much variation inside England as there is between England and Australia or England and America. Yeah. I mean, you, you go and listen to a Boston, a Boston American accent, like our good man in the, in the Facebook group, Jack Hickey. You know, his, his Boston accent is more similar to a British accent than an American accent. Like they say car. Car. Instead car. of instead of car, oh. you know they don't have, they drop the R's and it's um just so you know okay so you know don't feel like there's this big this big difference you know yeah yeah yeah. What are you saying is it late? No, it's not late. It's um it's the morning here. Yeah. Yeah, that's why it's so bright. Similar to Canadian and American. Well, I mean, I think I think again Canadians have have some specific vocabulary for certain things. Certain things, but. You know, in general, I think Canadian and American English, you know, it's, it's part of a, a continuum. Mm. It's called the language continuum. So somebody who lives in, like, the north of America, someone who lives in, like, I don't know, Dakota or, yeah. or, or Minnesota, you know, their, their English is going to be more similar to, to, you know, someone living in the south of Canada then, then someone in Florida to someone in like Nova Scotia, so, so you know it's a, it's a continuum. Geogra geography is very important. Exactly, like in the Arab countries, like, you know, people from Egypt are going to be able to understand maybe, I don't know, Tunisians easier than they can understand, you know, maybe Arabic from Saudi Arabia. I'm not sure. I'm not sure about that, but I imagine that's the case. You mean like the closer the country, the yeah, the closer to understand normally, the language. Normally, yeah, yeah, well. yeah. Uh, All right, let's okay, do yeah. some more then. Let's do uh, this one. Thirty-five down. Thirty-five down. They they kept us waiting a long time. The service was very. Beginning with. S. Beginning with S. Oh, I know. To be kept waiting, and the service was what? Beginning with S. Mm -hmm. Clumsy. Ooh. Ooh, no. But a slow. great word. Uh, Branker got that one. Yeah, slow. And Javier as well. Yeah. The service was very slow. Or well, you could also say very poor. But that wouldn't indicate that it was took a long time. Or oh, another another word that starts with S. You could say the service was shit. Shit, yeah. <laughs> but probably not. It's probably shit slow. Or slow. <laughs> um, um, yeah. It's 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 a great it's a great word that that somebody wrote earlier. Clumsy. Clumsy is like when you're. You, you drop know, things all the time. You drop things, and you're in Spanish. It's patoso. No. Patoso. O torpe. O torpe. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go. <laughs> Thanks, Adrian. Who? Hey, what's he saying? <laughs> he said, "Congratulations to me because you're beautiful." Oh. <laughs> not today, not really. Uh. Feel a bit tired today. Don't know why. Yeah, but you got big glasses on, so nobody can see your eyes. No yeah, problem. nobody can see my tired eyes. Look. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what about this one? I'm um, 34, 34 down. Thirty-four down. Meat and soya. Are a rich source of of this. what starts with P starts with the letter uh, P. Meat and soya are nice a rich source Thank of you, what? Thank you, Marta. Hmm. <laughs> Rogelia again, and cow is in here as well. Yeah, they're all in it. Anna protein. Rita. Protein. Mm -hmm. Protein. Protein's super important, right? Mm. Although I read recently that now, like, people in Western countries are obsessed with eating protein and we eat too much protein now. Oh, I don't know. It goes in phases. Sometimes, you know, oh. you've got to eat this much protein, then they drop it down. It's like the whole egg issue. You can't eat, you can't eat more than five eggs a week. Isn't that what I was saying? And then they dropped it to three eggs a week. And now, who knows? I mean... <laughs> 
you just got to eat what you like in moderation. A little of everything. Do you good, I say. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Balanced diet. Exactly. A little bit of wine, a little bit of a chocolate. A little bit of what you like will of... do you good. <laughs> okay, let's try this one. Four, 40 across. 40 across. Ooh. Ooh, this is a great vocabulary here. Irish hot pot. Irish hot pot? Irish hot pot. What's the synonym for an Irish hot pot? For how many letters? Four letters. Yeah, oh. come on. And, okay, so, you know, English sometimes can be very literal. So you have a pot, and it's, and in, it's hot. And it's, everything's in there. And you put everything in together and it boils. Stew. To be in a stew. Very nice. And you can use stew as a, as a, as a, as a what? Like to say you're in a stew. Yeah. If you're confused about something, stew. you can say I'm in a stew. It's backwards again. What's backwards? The internet is backwards. What do you mean it's backwards? Oh gosh, is that what we have to do? So stew. People can see. This is the word, okay? Stew. Be in a stew. And so when when you when you cook a stew, you put everything in the pot, like potatoes and meat and, it all and mixes carrots together, and becomes what? confused. That's why we say I'm in a stew. Yeah. And also if... Astofale, yeah, exactly. Yep. Who's that saying that? Marina, Marina from Argentina. Exactly. And like goulash, is similar to goulash, goulash, yeah? Goulash, yeah, yeah. Exactly. I'm sure that all, all countries, countries have... All countries have a variety of it. Yeah. I think the English is a casserole, would be the yeah. typical casserole. And, um, and also to stew is like, imagine if... <laughs> imagine if you're, you're sort of sitting... You know, thinking and the, about something. Thinking about something. The, the idea is like going around, you can say, I'm stewing. Stewing it over, for example. Yeah. I'm stewing it over. I'm thinking it over. Yeah, it's true, you can say that. And you can be in a stew, it's not good. In a right? stew, yeah. yeah. Okay, what about 47 across? 47 across. Your daily eating regime. Oh. Well, four letters. Four letters. Second letter is a I. Is an I. Mm -hmm. Your daily eating regime. You're eating. Oh, injudicious. Injudicious, got it. Very nice, my man. And also Silvana, and Bruno, and Francesca. And everybody. And Firuz. Diet. Very nice. Lock it in. Diet. Very nice, my man. Very nice. Okay. Um, maybe we should try this one. Thirty twenty-three across. It's a big one, it's a long word. Do you want to read this one? Okay, 23 across. The first meal of the day. Too easy. It's very easy. First meal of the day. Too easy. Too easy. If you don't get this, just just leave. <laughs> no, don't be cruel. We <laughs> could have beginners here. I'm just kidding. Mm, yeah, lock it in. Breakfast. And if anyone doesn't know, breakfast means to break the fast of being asleep all night with no food and then you wake up in the morning and you break your fast breakfast exactly it's like you have um you have these two words right so fast fast is um oh yeah exactly that michael like brekkie brekkie yeah brekkie brekkie. yeah so you're, you're breaking the fast to, to fast means to not eat the same in spanish you said des des ajuno because ajunar means to not not eat so you Desajuno and you, you eat in English you, you break break the fast, yeah. Like like all of the Muslims did like three days ago in Eid al Fitr when they broke the fast. What with Ra- Ra- Ramadan? Yeah, the end of yeah, Ramadan, Ramadan, yeah. Ramadan, yeah. yeah. Um, I hope that um, if you're Muslim and you, you, you celebrated Eid, I hope you had a good one. Mm-hmm. Um, with lots of food, a big table feast. full of food, a feast. <laughs> um, <clears throat> oh, it's called Oruk. What is? O- Oruk is the name of this this big feast when you when you finish um, Ramadan. Ramadan, the Oruk. Yeah. Uh, Oruk. Oh, interesting. Oh. Um, oh, this one. Uh, Thirty-six down. Thirty-six down. Uh, ooh, this knife is too blunt. The knife is blunt. It, it can't. can't. It's blunt. It's Hamza Saman. Yeah. Hamza Saman. There, look, she's got it again. Hamza Saman. Silvana's um. got it. Cut. Um. Here, let me put it in. 
cut. Very good. All right, let's do another one. 24 down. Cooking under the grill. Eight letters. Mm. Um, where are we? Starts with T. Ooh. Starts with T? Yeah, after because the breakfast gives us the clue that it's tea. 24 down. Ah, uh, barbecue? No. Cooking under the grill. To cook under the grill. So that means the grill's here on top and you're cooking under the grill. Adam says, do we know where Poland is? Yes, yeah, I know, we where, know po where Poland, we know Poland is. is. We've never been to Poland, but we know where it is. It's too cold. No. To roast? To it's, toast? Toast makes sense, but... Too many letters, right? Too many letters. How, is it cooked? Is it could it be the past tense? Toasted. What, what no. is it? What does it say? Uh, cooking forgotten. under the grill. Cooking in. Oh, have I got the number wrong? Is that why? Yeah, no. 24. 23, 24. Got the right number. Cooking under the grill. Co Eight letters. Toasted, with fried, tea. baked. Well, let's leave it. Cooking under the grill. Have we definitely got breakfast right? Cooking under the grill. Twenty-three. Across the first meal of the day, yeah. Oh, apparently, it's 27 degrees in Warsaw. Wow, not cold at all. Pretty good. I think it's warm everywhere, is it? By the sounds of things. Okay, we don't know that one. Let's leave it. Let's go to the one we do know. Eight down. Oh, Italian speciality cut into different shapes. Ah, uh, uh. Exactly. Or it could be pizza. No, because you don't cut that into different shapes. You normally only ever cut it into triangles or rectangles. Yeah, okay, fair enough. Whereas pasta, you can cut into any shape you want. Can't true, you? true. Do you know that some people... Okay, let, let, let's do a quick little quiz here. How many of you would eat pizza with a knife and fork? Oh, I don't understand that. I really don't get that. <laughs> so, to, are you eating your pizza with your hands or with a knife and fork? Tell us. Hands all the way, man. I'm, I'm hands. No, no one. <laughs> Me. Yeah, oh my exactly. God, there's, there's lots of people. Oh. No, they're all hand eaters, hands, see? Hands, you can't, hands. You have to eat hands. pizza with hands. 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 Oh, knife oh. and fork. Who was that? Bergson. I think it depends what the topping is too. Well, recently we've been watching like some lots of documentaries about pizza, right? We've lots of pro food programs about oh, pizza. Food, food programs, yeah. And and apparently, good pizza you should f you should be able to fold it like this. So you take one piece and you fold it, and it should stay should stay straight. It shouldn't it shouldn't flop. flop. And then you can eat it. But I don't know if that's true. We need we need like a uh, Neapolitan here in the group to tell us if it's correct. Pasquale would know. Pasquale, what's the correct way to eat, eat pizza, my man? Someone with chopsticks. <laughs> yeah, right. That's a bloody joke. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's have a look here. I'm sure that in China there are people who can eat pizza with chopsticks. Of course they can. You know, you know that they know that they Chinese know people have seen the fork. Like they know the fork exists, but they're not using it. They're like, nah. What are you talking we, we, about? We prefer of the stick. they know that a fork exists. I know, but why, if you see the fork, exactly. why would you, why would you continue to use because it? Because for them, it's easier to, with a knife and fork. It's impossible. For you, maybe, but if you're brought up with that, then it's easier, isn't it? <sighs> I like using chopsticks. I think they're fun. And, you know, they say it's healthier because you eat slower. Yeah, but how chopsticks. can you eat, like, okay, I can understand you can pick up, like, a piece of sushi. You know, okay, I get that. Yeah, but that. noodles, noodles are super easy with, with chopsticks. Yeah, but like, how can you sort of, how can you eat like rice? Yeah, that's what they're saying. See, rice is very hard to eat rice. But if it's that Chinese rice, it all sticks together in one big clump. Yeah, it? So you just go, it's all done. <laughs> bit by bit, like, <laughs> yeah, imagine eating like rice, like one. One grain at a time. It's impossible. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Jewel Becker, I use the hands of my wife. Oh, God, okay. 
Whatever takes your right. fancy, Ex I guess. Chopsticks are, are an extension of the fingers. Exactly. There wow, you isn't are. that a cool way to think about chopsticks? It is. It's a great way to think about it. An extension it. of the fingers. Now, that's poetic. That's beautiful. All right, we've got the next one now. Eight across. Italian dish. Oh, for God's sake. With a large circular base. <laughs> that was not. That's crazy. So we're talking about pasta and now we're around, talking about pizza. What could that be? What could that be around, what could it be, I around Italian food? I can't, I can't think of any. <laughs> Only spaghetti. It was spaghetti could be round. It's true. No. You know, because it's round. Mm -hmm. um, we're in the park. We're in um, Chantal the Park, our local, our town. This is where we live. This is the, the beautiful place where we live. Well, we don't live here. Well, no, but more or less we live here. Right. We live near here. Um, okay, next next clue. All right, Z. Oh, this could be a hard one. Nine down. V A T on British. Food is a zero percent. No, it's not. VAT on British food is zero percent. And then it's a four letter word beginning with Z. What? That doesn't make sense. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, so <laughs> Duh. Duh. So in English, what's a synonym for for, like, oh. for No, I say O. O. Or naught. Naught. Nil. Nil. Quoi. Oh, uh, there's that spider again. Oh, yeah. It's actually building a web. Zero, of course. Of course it's not. That's weird. Right, did, did, you, did you know that zero did not actually exist as a number for a majority of human history? Zero is a new thing. Zero was introduced into mathematics by the Arabs. Because, because imagine that. Imagine not really having... Like a number to represent nothing. We just say nothing. Wasn't necessary, but the idea of nothing in mathematics yeah, didn't, okay, I guess. didn't exist. It's but it actually of, is very important in mathematics now. I think it's pretty important. It's very important. Right? Uh, now mathematics is just. Yeah, yeah, exactly, Muhammad. Yes, exactly. Um. um oh no. <laughs> what? Uh, Pratik says that zeros were invented by Indians. Oh. I don't know. Zero is important to programming languages used as null. Yeah, but you know, I've done some programming myself and zero and null are very different things. You should know that. <laughs> um, because zero is not a natural number. No. You know, if you know anything about me, you know that I'm the worst, the thing I know nothing about is, is mathematics. No, but I think you're getting better with age. No, I yeah, hate... Yeah, no, I, I hate, think you are. I hate mathematics. Okay, All right, let's, let's do, do this one. This one is five down. Five down. American for hello. How do the Americans say hello? Howdy there. Uh, Jose Toledo says that the Mayans created zero. Ah, oh, very. No, Rodriguez says, hey. It's true. They say, hey. hi. Hiya. What's up? <laughs> very nice. In England, in England, you say hiya. Hiya, in England. What's up? It's so funny. It's true. It's so funny that that is really associated with Americans. Yeah. What's up? What's up? Yeah. Um, Hiya, in England. Yeah. All right, six down. Hi, guys. It's true also, guys. Yeah. Guys. Hi, guys, yeah. Uh, six down. Paper or plastic container. Three letters. Second letter is an A. Plastic. Or paper container. I know. With three letters. Yeah. Uh, bin? Bin, no. Box? Bag? Bag. Plastic bag. bag and paper bag. Who got that? Lady Angel. Wow, what a Very name. nice. Lady Angel, you nailed it. It's bag. 13 across. Something went gone. Oh, something went. Oh, no. Oh, my God. I'm not reading this very well. Sorry, the people. It's 13 across. Right. The clue is a two letter word. That's not, this is not even a thing. It's not even a thing. It's not it? even a thing. Right, we're going to do that one ourselves because that's rubbish. Okay, let's do the next one. 17 yeah. across. But Kuba M got it. Nice one, Kuba. Exactly. All right. Uh, 17 across. A freshwater fish beginning with T. 
with five letters. Ooh. Okay, so who knows what that means? A freshwater fish. No, oh, it's a fish that is in fresh water. Yeah, but, but what is fresh water? You know, maybe that's Without vocabulary salt. they don't know. Without salt, yeah. Trout? Yep. Tuna? Trout. Trout. Yep. Trout. Fits perfect. Trout is such a great fish. I, I like love it. trout. Yeah, I love like trout too. Not salty, very good. Yeah, so fresh water means not salty. You can drink fresh water, you can't drink you can't drink seawater or or, or or salt water. Um and that's like that I think that's also um like in in general alligators live in in fresh water and crocodiles live in salt water, is that right? Okay, so... And alligators you'll see in a while. <laughs> Crocodiles. <laughs> what? That's, okay, so everybody, ready for another joke? Oh, what's, please. What's the difference between an alligator and a crocodile? Okay, George, what's the difference? What's the difference in an alligator and a crocodile? Well, an alligator, you'll see him in a while. No, you'll see him later. You'll see him later, and a crocodile, you'll see him... <laughs> in a while. In a while. Because <laughs> oh, in English, when you... Joke. In English, when you say goodbye, you say, see, see you later, later alligator. alligator. And the other person says, in a while, crocodile. <laughs> this, this, is, this is... It's all going wrong. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, um, no, it's not the size. It's the see you later or in a while. Okay, listen. This is a good one. 19 down. A good cook must keep an eye on the what? Beginning with T. Four letters. A good cook needs to keep an eye on the beer. A good cook needs to keep an eye on the... Um, the tea. What tea? Again, Lady Angel. She's on it. Like she's a, on it. She's on it like a car bonnet. <laughs> okay. Todd, very nice. Very nice. Also, Joycelyn, Clarissa, and Branka. Very nice. Very nice. Let's try and get um, What's that? 38 across. That's a big one. Okay. Ooh. 38 across. Cooking with vapor above a saucepan. On a hot, on the hot plate. Oh, okay. What, what's the word in English when you cook with, with hot vapour? With, yeah, droplets of... Does anybody know? Oh, branca. Very nice. Very nice. It is steaming. Is it, which one is this? 36? Yeah. The, uh, yeah, that one. The steaming. Very good. Steaming. Um... And you can also use this when you're angry. Like you're angry, say, oh, I'm steaming. Yeah. yeah. And also it means you're very drunk. Yeah, steaming drunk. Steaming drunk. <laughs> uh, bye, Jules. See you soon. Oh, no, steamed ham. Maybe boiled ham, I think, would be, would be more correct. Huh? Maybe. Okay, let's, um, let's do one more. Okay. Small round green vegetable. A small and round green vegetable. How many letters? Three. Ooh. Who knows the word for this classic, this classic thing? Round and small and green. And we bought fresh ones the other day. George has got it. George. <laughs> and Bruno. And Arnau. And Tarek. Very nice. And also Amanda Sob. Sobrinho. From Brazil, I imagine. <laughs> Very nice. Peas. Of course it's peas. We have to do this one because it goes with our previous life class. 33 down. 30. Spanish omelette. So what is the Spanish word for the Spanish omelette? I wonder. Not in Mexico. Because um, in Mexico it's something else, right? It's the flatbread? No. Oh, actually, yeah, in Mexico, yeah, this thing is, uh, tortilla is the flatbread, isn't it? Is that right? So... Or it, wraps, uh, they call them wraps in England. Yeah, so in, in Mexico, if a tortilla is the flatbread, what do you call a, a Spanish omelette? Yeah. Oh, well, I wonder. Or is it the same thing? 
Is there any Mexicans on the Do we chat? Ha- I don't know. Um. Oh. In Paraguay, it's also called a tortilla. Rogelis is alfajor. Alfajor. I don't know. A frittata in Italian. Yes, Ross. Yeah, a frittata. frittata. A taco, no. Um, this, this is, this is my, my beautiful wife, Georgina. <laughs> Sorry, I'm a little bit tired today, guys. Sorry, I'm, I'm a bit. Yeah. Um, well, you know, here's the thing, right? We, we are not going to have time. But we did quite a lot of it. We're not going to have time to finish to finish all of it. But we did. A fair amount. We did a fair amount. We did really well, and. Um, but thanks to their help. Yeah, thanks very much for your help. In fact, I think it's really difficult to do a crossword without looking at it, yeah, only and hearing all the le- yeah, not seeing all the connections. So you guys did an amazing job, an amazing job. You should feel yeah. you should feel really proud yeah, about. Yes, who is that? Arzu. Oh, yes, we have a son, one son called Luca. Yeah. Um, yeah. So so th- thank you so much for for helping. Um, now we are going to go and collect our son. No, not now. We're going to have lunch first. Oh, okay. First we're having lunch. And then we're going to get our son from, from school. Um, so, thanks very much for helping us with the crossword. And, um, and I hope that you have a fantastic Tuesday. Don't forget to, you know, do something with your English this week. Have a conversation. Do the homework that Christian suggested. Get in the Facebook group. Do some homework. You know, you're not going to get fluency by just sitting there and watching videos on YouTube. You have to be producing and interacting. So go and do it, okay? Um, lots of love yeah, to you thank, all. Thanks to you guys. See you soon in the next class. I'm Christian. And I'm Georgina. Uh, this is Kangaroo English. See you in class. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Bye, guys. Love to you all. Bye.